We have talked about the novel coronavirus recently and its potential treatment rendezvous in the previous videos. Today, let's take a look at other two terrifying viruses in human history. First one, the virus which caused the oldest known infectious disease, smallpox. The mummy of Ramesses V in ancient Egypt seemed to indicate that he died from smallpox due to the lesions found in his face. Smallpox viruses has a history of more than 3,000 years. It's a terrible disease with a fatality rate of as high as 30%. In the 18th century Europe, 400,000 people die from smallpox every year. And it is estimated that around 300 million people worldwide were killed by smallpox throughout the 20th century. By that time, someone discovered a fact that people who are infected with cowpox would be immune to smallpox. Cowpox is similar to but much milder than smallpox and initially developed on the cows. Some milk walkers would get cowpox and it would just be fine after a while. This incident caught the attention of a doctor, Edward Jenner. Jenner was curious about this story and he did an experiment in 1796. He scraped pus from some cowpox blisters and inoculated an eight-year-old child with it with both arms. Later, he injected this child with real smallpox viruses. No disease followed. The boy was later challenged with smallpox and again showed no sign of infection. Such a simple experiment proved Jenner's hypothesis. From then on, with the advent of smallpox vaccine, smallpox was gradually eliminated. In 1980, the World Health Assembly declared smallpox was eliminated, and no cases of naturally occurring smallpox have happened since. Next, let's talk about one virus that is related to daily life. To some extent, this virus leads to the most serious infectious disease, rabies. Because rabies' fatality rate is nearly 100%. In other words, survival is almost unknown once symptom has presented, even with intensive care. Why is it so serious? Because rabies virus invades our nervous system. The virus has a bullet-like shape with a length of about 180 nanometers and a cross-sectional diameter of about 75 nanometers. Rabies virus can infect human and mammals such as dogs, bats, raccoons, skunks, wolves, and even cats. Eaten by a mammal carrying this virus is the main route of rabies transmission. The rabies patient's primary symptom is the extreme fear of water. They have difficulty in drinking or even the intention or suggestion of drinking may cause painful spasms of the muscles in their throat and larynx. Saliva production is greatly increased, and the inability of swallowing can lead to a lot of drawing. It is because what we just mentioned that rabies is invading our nervous system. To put it plainly, it will give some abnormal instructions to the human body. The following rabid symptoms include violent movements, uncontrolled excitement, and inability to move parts of the body, and so on. Later on, it begins to enter the paralytic stage, eventually progress to delirium and coma. Rabid virus does not spread along blood vessels. Instead, it travels along nerves to the spinal cord and then to brain, where it multiplies. So human immune system doesn't do much to kill rabies virus. Once it reaches the spinal cord and brain, rabies is almost always fatal. However, the virus typically takes at least 10 days, usually 30 to 50 days to reach the brain, depending on the bite's location. During that interval, measures can be taken to stop the virus and help prevent death. If you are bitten by an animal, first clean the wound thoroughly with soap and water. Rabies virus is vulnerable when it comes out of the body. Surfactant in soap can often inactivate the virus. Then go to see a doctor. The doctor will determine the likelihood of rabies transmission and whether to inject the vaccine. 
Vaccinating your pets regularly helps lessen the spread of infectious disease throughout the pet population and will also protect your family. Thanks for watching and if you like my video, please leave a comment and subscribe my channel. Your support is very important to me. I'll see you next time.